Another danger magnet inventor, Garrett Morgan, is inspired by tragedy to create a breathing hood that will save lives. The Triangle Factory fire was devastating around the country because it highlighted the need for reform uh, in safety practices and in helping to rescue people. Morgan first creates a hood to protect a person's face from the heat and their eyes from the smoke. But Morgan's designs contain something new. They tackle a major problem how the rescuer breathes when the air is scorching and full of smoke. Most of the fire deaths, both civilian and, and firefighters, for the last 150 years have been from smoke, from the fumes from the burning products. In a building fire, the air can reach 1,100 degrees, hot enough to destroy the lining of the throat and lungs. Morgan develops a filtration system using cotton and fabrics soaked in cold water, removing much of the heat from the air as it enters his mask. But how to withstand the fumes for any length of time? Then he has a moment of unexpected inspiration at a circus. Apparently, it was a, a scorchingly hot day, and they were sitting under the big tent. And when the elephants were performing, he noticed that periodically they would go and, and get themselves a, a breath of fresh air by sticking their trunk through a seam in the top of the tent. He refashions his breathing hood, attaching two long tubes that reach to the ground. Morgan's device is simple but genius uh, because what he realizes is that in, in any fire, the noxious fumes, the carbon monoxide, everything, and the smoke is at the upper level. And there's clean air, pure air, pure air at the lower level. These are the air intake tubes, bringing cleaner air into the mask through its filters. The breathing hood is born. But to prove his mask works, Morgan needs to test it. People were hesitant to purchase his product or even to try it out because they couldn't believe that an African-American could actually develop a, a product like this and that it would actually work. Lake Erie, July 24th, 1916. Workers digging a water supply tunnel under the lake hit a pocket of gas. 32 men are trapped underground. There was chaos, absolute chaos. There was nothing that anyone really could do to help. What happened was not only had miners been trapped, but their rescuers had gotten into trouble. They remembered that Garrett Morgan, the uh, inventor, lived here, and they thought maybe these safety hoods could be helpful in retrieving bodies. And no one was willing to put on his hood and go in, so he did. Garrett Morgan is about to carry out a very public and life-threatening test of his safety hood. Morgan and his brother venture into the shattered tunnel. What he saw there, of course, was death and destruction. And because they could breathe relatively freely and not be bothered by the, by the overwhelming fumes, they were able to identify those people who were still alive. They rescue more than 20 men and retrieve the bodies of those who don't survive. What better way to silence your skeptics or your critics than to put on your invention, use it, and have it be successful and save lives? Morgan's safety hood will prove to be a boon for rescue workers for decades to come. But Garrett Morgan chooses not to make a fortune from his invention. Instead, he gifts it to the state. He gave his patent to the government uh, for their use because he understood the importance of the safety um, device, of the breathing device uh, in World War I and knew that it would be an important piece of military kit. If I could meet Garrett Morgan, I'd give him a big kiss and a hug. It's the greatest invention that a firefighter could ever have.